bits where there's not a big lug because you like to snap them off if you hit them too hard. And I always use a block of wood rather than striking it with the hammer. Otherwise you're just going to break the aluminium. That's come off there. Yeah. So I've soaked it in WD-40 and it's been soaking for a couple of days now, just hopefully that'll get into the teeth and uh, there's less risk of damaging anything with the puller. So the tools you'll need is a hydraulic puller to clamp around the output shaft and obviously something to go in the middle to stop it from damaging the actual shaft that comes out of the gearbox. So for that, we've got a 26mm impact socket. Place that in there. Make sure you've got it central so you don't damage any teeth or it picks up on the socket on the way out. And that's central now. So the, the coupling should actually slide over the socket as we pull it out. And obviously we've got a half inch head so just a little piece of metal to go over the top so the puller doesn't sink in, damage your socket or the hydraulic puller itself. Now we need to do put it on. Quite a lot of adjustment. Once you've got it set up. Keep it it'll probably crack. I'll make a big crack when it re when the releases from the from the shaft. Maybe that'll fly off and belt me. Wow, this is really seized on. is starting to come away from the shaft so once it's started moving it will get easier as it comes off let's up again the deep socket start again Slow process. Have to be just again. Just 
Sit back. There we go. It's time to remove from the gearbox. So this is the output shaft that wears on the Puma. Well, I've cleaned mine up, but you can do this in situ with the transfer box. Sorry, with the gearbox still in the car. That's what what happens. I mean, mine isn't too bad, as that said. But getting the transfer box off the gearbox was another story with mine. When I took it off, this was completely seized together um, so with the gearbox still in the car this would have been a great job to do if you know what I mean but you can see the state that's not being cleaned up but it's a must thing to do while the gearbox is out if you're having a clutch done because uh, they suffer with them so bad that's the main problem there's a new one coming uh, I've ordered the oil seal for the gearbox and for the transfer box uh, because there's a lot of crap that gets stuck in places so while it's out they're getting done too um, I do believe the main problem from the factory is this bit where it actually connects together was fitted dry now mine's done 76,000 miles so I've heard of them going from 30,000 miles onwards so I'd say that's been replaced but it was definitely dry so whoever's replaced it hasn't cured the problem because they fitted it dry so anyway uh, when the new one arrives I shall update you and we will go from there